Hello, my souls. I hope that you're all doing great and staying well and staying healthy. My nature of my video is to tell you about Mer News. Get it? Some more news? Some Mer News. This oil has been amazing. I can only tell you, it's truly a game changer. And I would love it, love it if you can get closer. Click on the bell notification. Let me, wherever the notification is, as I look into this camera to find you, let me know how you feel, how you like it, if you want to keep me going. If you can like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification, that would help me to know that you are getting something out of this. With that, I would like to present some more news. Hear that? I'm getting into the zone of just representing an oil that I'm getting used to and knowing the benefits. See, when I, I get into something, when I discover something, I want to be able to know all about it, how it works, what's its benefits, how is it going to help me, and what it can be used for. So, here I go. I am, this oil has been, has been known to be rich and smoky. It's a balsamic aroma, aroma aromatic. It aids in meditation, which if you're into that meditation yoga bit, that's what it's good for. It comes from, uh, The testimony Bible Arabian people have worked. It helps with cracked, wrinkled skin. The myrrh is known as an oral hygiene. It's used in spiritual awareness, skin health, and antioxidant support. The other benefits are, as I just scroll down and miss the whole thing, it has many healing properties. And I'm not really reading up scripts, so I'm just randomly looking, but it is commonly used to loosen, not loosen, boost, boost, boost up the immunity, immune system. If I can speak, that'd be great. I'm just reading off a script off my computer here to let you know how things are going. It helps in recovery of an illness, stimulates your appetite, which I don't know if I want that much. I want to be able to to decrease my appetite a little bit, but it relieves itching of irritated skin, fights infection, helps with that athlete's foot, which is very beneficial, supports healthy skin. The myrrh can be used as anti-aging for wrinkles around your face, not in your eye, just your face. It improves your circulation and helps with a healthy glow for the skin and youthfulness. I find it to be let me say, woodsy, aromatic. Uh, the smell is just, it's, if you're into smelling or comparing the smell, when you sit by a campfire, the dry piece of wood, that's the scent that myrrh has. It gives off that dry piece of scent of a wood that's, that's been soaked, that's been sitting in the rain, and when you finally finish it drying, that's what that piece of wood res resembles. Myrrh, it's crisp, it's warm, it's musky, it's aromatic. And if I can remember what aromatic means, it, it flows, it doesn't linger, it has a woodsy smell. My thing is, when I compare oils and try to analyze what they are and what they smell like to compare to a piece of a plant or something. That's when I try to say, okay, this is similar to this. This smells like that. What can this can be compared to? And when I do that with the smur, it's woodsy, it's aromatic, it's got a crisp, a slight crisp to it. Not something you want to chew on, that's definitely for sure. But this myrrh does help with oral hygiene, which is very beneficial for people who have sensitive teeth and are receding gum line, which now that I know that, I know what I'll be using in the future. 
Oh my gosh, the smell is just amazing. I wish you could, the guys, could smell it. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? I can. It smells amazing. Uh, let's see. And the, the benefits. Antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, viral, parasitic, oxidant, antioxidant. I'm tripping on my words, so bear with me. It's anti-cancer, which I'm looking into that a little more. It helps with anti-inflammatory. It works as a great astringent. Works in your digestive system. It helps with your respiratory. So whatever you put this with the cat with a carry oil, such as watermelon, castor, grapeseed oil, all those, you rub diluted with the grapeseed, all those carry oils and take a piece of cotton swab and then just mix it together and then let the oil rub it gently on your respiratory tract, your, your neck, your chest, whatever. This will work in opening up and s heating up the pa your chest muscles so it soothes the, the congestion. It helps with gum disease, hypo hypothyroidism, it helps with the healing of the wounds, great expectorant, stimulant, circulatory, and immunity, immunity, immunity booster. Wow. <laughs> I need to get a speech impairment testing for that one. All I can say is it has so many properties that are just amazing. It comes from a spicy resin, and like I said, it, it evaporates really quickly. It helps when you have um, immunity support or dysfun dysfunction. It helps warm up those muscles. It helps soothe them so that there's not constriction in the muscles when you have respiratory inflammation. It's it fights. It. I'm reading up the script here, so don't mind me. I know that I'm. Um, it quiets your mind, so maybe when you do this, use it with a lavender oil because this will help put you in that calm state of ease. Also, use it with astringent um, or by itself, cotton swab carefully. But if you're new to using any kind of essential oil, do your research first. Don't just do randomly because you could react differently. So do your research first. I've been doing this for a long time and I've always looked into the side effects, the carrier oils, the oils that are potent. You always want to dilute them with the carrier oil. And the carrier oils are grapeseed, avocado, not so much avocado, grapeseed, watermelon, castor, uh, linolin, MC2 oil, which is fraction coconut oil. You want to make sure you have the knowledge to do this. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and ask me because I definitely will be posting a link of what the oils will be doing, how they benefit you, how amazing they are, and what properties stands behind each and every single oil because there are so many properties that you want to make sure you know what you're doing with each body, with each part of the oil and using it wisely. Some are not meant to be used because they are toxic around animals, but we'll get into that later on, I promise you. But these oils right here, I had it comes from a, a resin, from a, plant, a bark of a plant. I'm still looking on that research, but it helps support you in so many ways. So this, carry, this oil will probably be very beneficial using it with lavender. Take a little drop of each one, cotton swab, and then just sniff it and you'll be amazed at how it will help open you up, soothe you, quiet your calm, calm your, your anxiousness, and just be in a state of peace. Now, whenever you use work or use oils, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area because if you're just first time using the oils, you're gonna have, you're gonna be triggered because the oils are potent and when they're potent means they are non-synthetic and they actually have the full strain of the oil in the bottle. There's nothing processed, no chemical reaction, except for the cold processed oil itself that's in the bottle. 
So, I hope that this has given you some research on the oil and how beneficial it is. It can be used in medication, um, not medication, uh, soaps, stringents, antiseptics, you name it. The list goes on and on. And I'm still incorporating that into my daily practices. Um, diffusers, everything. Um, skincare, creams, deodorants, the possibilities are growing and they're getting faster by the minute in each day. So with that, I want you to stay encouraged, stay inspired, like and share and subscribe to my channel to let me know that you are getting something, some more news from this and it helps you to be enlightened, inspired and encouraged. So with that, I hope that you found this video encouraging because I plan on staying and I want to be a inspiration to someone else. So with that, um, like and subscribe, help me to help you and I will have more videos once a week even or even twice a week. I'm trying to get back into the groove. It's been crazy, but I'm going to get my, my mojo going and being inspired is going to help me using my OS to incorporate and be better, be there. Stay inspired, stay encouraged, and all the best. Like, subscribe, and let me know. Thank you.